This is Anthony Olympia with Six String Country, and these lessons we're gonna be working on Break Up in the End by Cole Swindell. It was written by Jesse Joe Dillon, John Knight, and Chase McGill. Uh, the rhythm lesson is uh, finger picking uh, galore. You're gonna need to, the tabs for that dude. Um, and it's, it's a really, really good chance just to kind of work on, you know, with finger picking, like your right hand technique. Um, really, really tasteful playing there. Uh, we do, if you just want to strum, we are going to have a lesson for you that's like an easy strum version of the song. Uh, the lead lesson is just super simple, tasty guitar. We do cover some of the uh, the keyboard parts that I felt like needed, you know, it was a texture that just needed to be there. Um, so we cover a lot of ground, but it's all just real simple and tasty. Uh, both guitars are going to be tuned down a half step. So go ahead and get your tuner out, tuner down a half step, and we'll get started. Take their advice when I say you're moving in, even though we break up in the end. Even if I knew you'd be the one that got away, I'd still go back and get to you. Even if I knew you'd be my best and worst mistake. This is the rhythm lesson for Break Up in the End. We are down a half step, so every string is tuned down one half step. So E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, high string, the high E string is also an E flat, right? Everything down one half step. Um, this song is a great chance to kind of work on your finger picking chops, um, the finger style guitar where you're using your thumb and your other phalanges to, uh, I guess, make the guitar work. It's, it's kind of like implying chords. You're not strumming your... Right, kind of like some notes are one at a time, some are, you know, it's, it's a really, really cool style. Um, definitely gonna need the tabs for this one, if you can read tabs, I'm sure. And then back to the D chord shape, hit the G string and high E string, second fret together. Open D, open high E, open D, third, uh, third fret of the B, and then open A. So, and then the fourth measure of the intro, uh, get to this like A7 chord, like with a sus. It's the open A string, open G, third fret of the B. And then open high E string. And then just open G, third, I'm sorry, open G, second fret of the B. So, a really cool little part and that is a measure uh, we'll be repeating that idea as well as like <clears throat> versions of that later in the song it's kind of like a, a signature little piece of the song um, so yeah let's play the intro now that we got the pickup through the whole intro let's play that slowly right um, it starts on the end of three so I'll go one two three and we start so one two three lot of information here. The tabs are going to help a tremendous amount as well as listening to the rhythm. Let's try all of this to a, t to a metronome starting with the pickup. The pickup's on the end of three so I'll count and we'll start playing on the end of three. One, two, three. Cool, 
let's move on to the first verse. First verse, one, two, three, four. This is the lead lesson for Break Up in the End. Quick review of tone stuff. Uh, I think a single coil guitar is gonna work better on this. If you just have it one with the humbuckers, no big deal. Uh, just make sure you have the gain kind of low uh, on any guitar you're using. This is definitely a cleaner sound. Seventh fret of the D and the G, and you're gonna need your volume down. If you're using a volume pedal, uh, that's probably gonna work a little better, but just assuming that maybe not all of us have one, I'm gonna work with my volume knob. So I have my volume down, whether it's the knob or the pedal. I'm gonna hit, with the volume down, hit the seventh fret of the D and G, the natural harmonic, which is where you don't press down, you don't press down the frets, so you just put your finger right over the fret, play it and then you know don't touch it anymore, you just kinda of play it, release your fingers. But with the volume down, you kind of turn your volume up gradually and let that swell in, right? I'm sure a lot of you are like, I know, I know how to do this stuff, but just in case, that's how you do it. Uh, so yeah, so it'll be one, two, three, four, Right? You want to pluck the note and swell in at the right timing. Pluck the note before, I guess, you want it to ring because the volume's down and nobody's going to hear it. Um, so that'll ring over into, I guess, uh, measure two and kind of just fades out you know, the rest of the intro. So we'll go ahead and move on. Uh, verse one, we get to just kind of sit there and not do anything and let the acoustic guitar do all the work because it's an intimate song. There. All right, so let's play this slowly uh, from the beginning. It's, it, we'll do our best to count and play in time, even though we're you know, leather pantsing it, feeling it. So here we go, three, four, one, two, three. Three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two. Do it all. 